Saffron Acres is a 12 acre community food growing and environmental project based on the Saffron Lane estate. We work with a huge variety of different independent people in the community and different community projects and groups. Having the, the acres at the, the centre of this community, the community is, um, is quite deprived, it's quite poor and there's quite poor health outcomes for a lot of the residents locally. There really isn't that sort of availability for people to see where their food comes from without having to travel out into the country. On site in any one day we can have a group from the probation service, we can have groups from different schools and colleges, we work with Sure Start centres, so we work with parents and toddlers. Today we have had students from the University of Leicester, they've come down to the site and helped to start and create a bog garden. Um, so for a lot of our volunteers, a lot of them um, are maybe long term unemployed and we have an excellent record of supporting our volunteers back into work. So being here gives them a bit more confidence, it gives them something to talk about in an application form or an interview, it gives them something to write on their CV. Quite a lot of our volunteers just want to get out of the house and want somewhere to go. So doesn't have a garden, doesn't have any green space, but if you're stuck in four walls then having somewhere to go, a friendly face, a cup of tea and something to learn and something to get involved with for people who are isolated or just bored, long term unemployed or retired then that's that's essential I think. Seeing things grow is a really a nurturing experience really. We find that people are a lot more physically active just because you come down here and especially in the winter you need to keep moving to keep warm. People get such a variety of different things out of coming down here. Uh, people learn new skills, so um, quite a lot of our, our work is to do with growing vegetables and people learn the kind of skills that they can use to feed themselves at home uh, and to um, eke out their budgets, which is very important in a time like this. It's just an amazing oasis. I mean, Leicester's a big city um, and people don't realise that a site of this size could be found in the inner city. You can come here and it's like being in the countryside. You can spend time in what, in summer, is an astoundingly beautiful place. Like we've got, we've got our orchard and we've got um, 50 types of wild flowers growing that people can come and have a look at. We've got, we've got 20, 30 different kinds of, but, of butterfly using the site. We've got field fairs eating the apples off our, off our orchard. It's, it's amazing. You should come and see it. We've got herb beds, we've got fruit cages, we've got vegetable plots, we've just the bog garden we've been seeing the, the students working on today. When people visit the site, we provide everything that they need. We give them all the training they need, we give them the tools, the equipment, the seeds, the materials that they need. There's a whole range of things that benefit the environment and also will benefit individuals. We can work with people to do anything that they want really. If someone's got a madcap idea, they want to build a pot bottle greenhouse, a methane generator, we have loads of space to be able to accommodate all sorts of different people with different ideas. We have a load of different ideas, we're always looking for people with different skills, so enthusiasm is the main thing that we ask people to bring with them, enthusiasm and their sandwiches.